In this topic training we will learn about how to install and configure a print server in Windows Server 2012 or 2. A printer is one of the most important devices for an office network and being a system administrator you should be able to deploy it. This video will walk you through the steps to install and configure a print server on your Windows Server 2012 or 2 machine. Following are the requirements for this video. The administrator account must have a strong password, a static IP is configured, the latest Windows updates are installed, the firewall is turned off. Installing the print server. Open server manager. Click on add roles and features. Click on next. Choose role based or feature based installation and click on next. Click on next. Click on print and document services. Click add features and click on next. Leave the default selections and click next. Click next. Choose print server and click next. Click on install. Click close after successful installation. Now configuring the print server. Go to tools and open the print server management console. Right click on printers. Click on add printer. Attach the printer to your computer. Choose the right port where you are printer as connected. Click on next. Choose use an existing printer driver on the computer. If you have an existing printer drivers, otherwise choose install a new driver and follow the wizard click next. Click on next. Give a friendly name to your printer and share it with other users on network. Click on share this printer. Click on next, click next and click on finish. Again go to printer management console, HP color, right click on it and enable branch office direct printing. Right click on it and then click on properties, click the sharing tab, select Let's configure printer pooling in the print management console. Right click ports and then click on add port. In the printer ports dialog box click standard TCP slash IP port. And then click on new port. In the add standard TCP slash IP printer port wizard click next. On the add Port interface and printer name or IP address type, for example, 172.16.0.111, and then click on next. And the additional port information required dialog box, click next. Click finish to close the add standard TCP slash IP printer port wizard. Click close to close the printer ports dialog box. In the print management console right click on HP and then click properties. In the properties dialog box click the ports tab. Select enable printer pooling and then click the 172.16.0.111 port to select it as the second port and click on OK. Switch to your client PC open control panel.
In the devices and printers console, click add a printer. Add a printer, click on next. 